<clears throat> Hello YouTube, it's your boy Tragic Reels. This is for those people that made a statement saying that you cannot play or buy PC parts under $400 or under $500 to compete with the Xbox One and the PS4. Whereas I have PC parts right here. If y'all look right here, let me see if I can zoom in real quick for y'all. Add screen reason real quick. Add this part right here. Okay. Let me see if y'all can see that. You see, all of this right here, right? Y'all don't know that. Let me see if I can zoom in too. Y'all know that I can sit up there. Y'all know that I can sit up there and build my PC with this and get Windows 10 for free. If you already had Windows, you don't really need to buy Windows. And, you know, you most people, they power rate Windows or they get it from their friend or something. So, you really, who, like, people don't really buy Windows like that. Now, I wouldn't suggest you to do it. I don't condemn it, but people do it. And that's, that's how they get their rig so cheap. Now, this is all of this right here. If you get the one with four dim slot, you can count all of this and add it up to $350 or $300. And then you can play with all of this. And then when you get the windows, which is 80 bucks, so it's 380 bucks. It's under $400, which is you got to get uh, Xbox one for the same price, $400, right? Let me go down real quick. Let me look down at the, some of these comic sections. If y'all can get that far. Okay, I'm about to scroll down real quick. Let me show y'all something. This is how I know some of y'all don't understand that. You don't need a, 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 Intel, a Intel processor to build your computer. You get a cheaper AMD. That's an AMD whatever, 6 core. That's $97. And... I'll beat the Xbox One and the PS4. I played all my games. Let me show you what games I got in my library. Okay. I got Batman Arkham Knight. I could play that game better than the Xbox One at 40 frames per second. Now, the game does have some issues, but I'm going to tell you another game that acts a fool on the Xbox One and the PS4 that barely can play at the resolution it plays at. I could play Witcher 3. I can find it. I don't know if it's in here. I, don't, I ain't buy it here. I bought it on this website, which I got it for cheap. Now, let me show you how cheap um, playing on PC is. Okay, let's say you take all that in factor, right? And you know how people, they usually buy a brand new game with their new console. So, you got Xbox Live or PSN, right? Which is $60 to $50 to $60, right? And then, you got a brand new game, which is... 50 to 60 dollars depending on if you're buying a fighting game that's 40 bucks but usually most of these games are 60 bucks average out to be 60 bucks on consoles i get rainbow six Siege for 44 dollars and 28 cent i can get black ops 3 33 dollars 31 dollars and 33 cent okay you go to psn right i'm just going to a, a this is just a store that i can easily look up something all right Let's say Dark Souls 2. It's forty dollars on here, right? Let me show you Dark Souls 2 with all of the DLCs. You already know that most of these games are like sixty bucks. See what I'm saying? Now they they on sale, but you can get Fallout 3 for forty four dollars. Bloodborne, I mean Dark Souls 2, seventeen ninety nine. This is a DLC or is this a four game? Oh, it's the PS3 version. See the PS3 version is even cheaper. Um twenty three dollars. Okay. Stuff is on sale because of holidays. You see, it's twenty three ninety nine. Let me show you Dark Souls two. I think I got Dark Souls two on here. Yeah, I'm about to show you Dark Souls two. I think Dark Souls two is the same size, same price as the PS three version. Dark Souls three forty three forty four pre order. You can pre order it for four hundred forty three dollars and forty three cent. You don't need to pay sixty bucks to pre order your games anymore once you hit the PC rail. And on top of that, you don't need a uh, you don't really need to pay for online unless you playing like games like Final Fantasy 14. Whereas on the PS4, you have to pay for Final Fantasy 14 and pay for PSN Plus on the PS4. The PS3, you just got to pay for Final Fantasy 14, as I remember. 
Let me type it in real quick. Uh, I forgot. Dark Souls 2. That's what I'm looking for. They actually got... They they have stuff on sale. Dark Souls 2. Now, this is... With, I don't know if this is all with the DLC, but this is pretty cheap. $14. Click on it. That's four... This is... Okay. All right. This is $14, yo. $14. I can't argue with this. Nobody can beat this price, man. Consoles cannot beat this price. Now, on Steam, you might have to pay a little bit more because it's bought directly from Steam and you can get a refund. But let's say you really want this game and you want it for cheap because you don't want to spend out your pocket or whatever. You could just spend cheap. Now, if you got a PC already, you want Counter Strike, you can get that for $6 now. I should have waited. But if you look around, most of these games that's brand new are $44, $45, $27, $39.99, $49, $27.99. I mean, you can't beat this, man. Like, y'all are missing out on, like, I mean, you can get a P a Xbox Live for $14. Uh, and t you get a free month for $14. But that's not for Xbox Live, though. You don't have to pay for online on PC, ever. I mean, I like this site because they actually sell Xbox Live for cheap, but I don't know what argument y'all coming up with and where y'all got this information from. I want y'all to do y'all research before y'all come to me with that bull crap. Like, do this. This is simple. Let me do it for y'all. It's a $350 PC that can play GTA 5 at medium to high settings. 1080p, all right, 60 frames per second. Now, it might not stay at 50 seconds. I don't think it would stay at 60 frames per second, but according to this dude, he actually did it. They got another one for $400. Okay, let me look up. $350 they can play at 60 frames per second, actually, yeah. GTA 5, because most of these consoles don't play their games at 60 frames per second, 100%. And their game is like medium to low settings. Like, they're not really that good. It's custom. Um, I'm talking about everything maxed out to medium. Not one thing is that low, one thing at medium. Um, let me show you. Here goes three three hundred fifty dollar PC. Here it is. You get a four hundred and thirty watt. You don't have to get what I got. You get an i5 three point uh, i5 seven five fifty fourteen fifty. What? Are you serious? This is three hundred fifty dollars. See what I'm saying? I'm so amazed Today, already. Today, we'll be comparing Windows, GTA sorry. 5 on the PS4 and the Potato Masher. In case you don't know, the Potato Masher is a $350 computer custom built in December of 2014 and designed to provide a comparable or better gaming experience than the PlayStation 4 for the duration of its life cycle. If you want to see the original concept and build video for the Potato Masher, there's a link in the description of this video. We also have a brand new Frequently Asked Questions video that you can look at if you want to know more about the Potato Masher, and you can see that link in the description or click the button on screen right now. All footage is recorded at 60 FPS, so if you're watching this video in Google Chrome, switch to the 60 FPS version for the best experience. Also in the description is a download link for the maximum quality version of this video for all you pixel peepers. That's enough housekeeping, let's get to it. GTA 5 isn't exactly a new game. It originally released GTA 5 isn't exactly a new game. It originally released in late 2013. That said, Rockstar has said that they consider the PC version of the game to be the definitive release. For the past four months, we've received tons of comments from people excited to see how well the Potato Masher handled this game. The only game more anticipated in the comments is The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. We've also received a fair amount of negativity from people who think the Potato Masher is going to buckle under the weight of such a demanding game. So as not to tease you for five minutes, just know that the Potato Masher exceeded my expectations and the experience has been a blast. For comparison's sake, I've included some footage from the Xbox 360 so you can see how the original release compares to the PS4 and PC. The Xbox 360 version runs at 720p and 30fps, the PS4 runs at 1080p and 30fps, and the Potato Masher can pretty much do whatever we want, within reason. Since the PS4 looks great, I set that as my target. The PC version of the game has quite a few performance options, but to really take advantage of the highest settings, you need a very powerful system. The Potato Masher only has enough VRAM to run the game at high settings at 1080p, but it's still powerful enough to run at double the frame rate of the PS4 version. The PlayStation 4 appears to have slightly softer shadows and shallower depth of field effects, 
but the PC has better textures and slightly more detailed models. Honestly, a 1080... Enough said. Enough said. Check this darn dudes out. The link will be in the description if you want to know more information to learn how to build your own PC. You can search it up. It's Google. Google your stuff before y'all sit up there and make assumptions on what is, you know, good and what is not good and what is like, you know, stop making up stuff, man. That's thing I got to say. That's the only thing I got to say. And I know y'all heard it. P, there isn't a huge thing. visual difference. Now, it's not a huge visual distance, but you will know that the frame rate is more smoother. The gameplay is more smoother. I mean, I, I'm having a blast with my uh, gaming PC. My gaming PC is about 350 range. It's around that range, which is PC stand, which is the console price range. Because you got 350 Actually, it's $400 because you got to buy one year for Xbox Live just to enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's around $400 on those consoles, whereas on PC, you just... And then you might as well say four hundred and sixty dollars or four hundred and fifty dollars because you got to buy a brand new game. I know you ain't gonna sit there and buy the console for our game. Might as well say. So yeah, y'all compare the price: four hundred dollars versus four hundred and forty dollars. Four hundred dollars is a cheaper price and a better value. Maybe cheaper than that, you might be able to pay three hundred ninety dollars to get your PC started with some games. Just saying.